Hi there, it's Kevin again from the Figure Owners Club. Uh, good to be with you. And uh, on this particular video, we're going to be looking at the uh, air conditioning LED light. Uh, now, this little mod has uh, come through from Simon Smith, our uh, forum guru. And uh, Simon's done a little um, article uh, in Figgy World as well about this, which I've actually printed off here. Uh, always useful to, to print the articles off if you're going to do the work, because obviously it gives you a reference and we, we try and include pictures and stuff. So, uh, just going to have a look at uh, what it is I'm talking about. So, if I just uh, start the old car up, the little bell. So, here we go. Okay, so what we're talking about is this little light here. Okay. So basically what should happen is this light should come on and be uh, pretty bright um, obviously it tells you when the, the air conditioning is on. Now if I flick the air conditioning switch up you can hear it kicking in, that's off, ready, okay you can actually hear it kicking in. Now on this particular car um, it just so happens if I kick it in nothing's happening with the lights so I think the LED has gone completely. So the first part obviously is to take the little knobs off, which pull out, and then what we need to do is we need to leverage this assembly off and it's actually held in by clips, um, so we're going to do that next. Okay, so the best way to actually do this, rather than put the screwdriver in here and lever it off, which will make, leave a mark here is I think if you put the screwdriver in one of these slots and actually pull it um, what will happen is it will prise away and you can see the clips there that's the first of four and there's actually four clips holding this in so I'm not going to video it while I'm doing it because it's a little bit difficult but oh there we go I've got started it you can see it's coming now it's a bit of a fingernail job but I'm going to put the camera down and get the rest of it off okay so I've managed to get it off and it's actually you've got um, there are five clips on it, so you've got two at the bottom, and uh, sorry, three at the bottom and two at the top. So if you look here, you can see where they fit into. That's the hole there, that's the little slot there, slot there. So you've got three clips at the bottom, two at the top. So it's just a case of prising it, and then the whole thing will come out. Now you can see our little LED there. That's the beast. That's what we've got to change. So that's the LED, and um, obviously these are the controls. Um, I'm wondering actually whether it's fitted in. That might have, might have been why it wasn't on. I wonder whether the actual print circuit board has fallen back out of the actual assembly. So we'll find that in a second. So yes, I've got the car going now. And if I flick the switch up, you see a little light comes on, off. See how dull it is. Very, very dull. Uh, and the reason I didn't have a light at all is because I think the... Um, I think this, this assembly, printed circuit board assembly, had actually fallen back and you can see it's supposed to be pushed into this little slot there, you can see, so basically it shines through and you've got, actually you've got air conditioning, you can see it underneath there, well I can anyway but we'll see that, but I've, ne I've never actually seen that, so that's quite interesting. So the, the LED was working all along, although it's very dull. Uh, it wasn't working at all for me because the board had actually uh, wasn't connected inside the assembly so interesting okay so what I've decided to do because it's very tight to pull the assembly out and do it in situ with actually within the car I've actually decided to cut it uh, keeping a little bit of color on the board so we can see the orientation of the green and the, and the black making sure we're going to get it around the right way and what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take this printed circuit board into my workshop and I'm going to do the modifications in there so I think it would be much easier and then simply join it with a bit of heat shrink sleeving onto those wires and put it back together I think it's going to be much easier than trying to solder it actually in situ uh, I did notice on Simon's um, pictures that he had quite a lot of uh, cable that he could pull out so mine seems to be uh, quite tight so I'm going to do it that way but if you've got a lot of cable and you can obviously get the board right out, then you could probably do it in situ. Okay, so back in the workshop now. And um, as you can see, the board. Um, and just quickly show you what I've got here. We've got the resistors, coming packs of 10. And we've got the LEDs, again, 
10, 10 LEDs. That's three LEDs. And the total cost uh, when I bought these uh, was £2.58 for the 10 LEDs and 10 resistors. So um, a very cheap job, to be, to be honest. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to unsolder both the LED and the resistor. And then we're going to insert the new LED and new resistor. And uh, a good way of doing uh, unsoldering, if, if you're going to do it, um, obviously you can just use the soldering iron and try and pull it out. But another quite nice item is um, what we call a, a desoldering um, suction unit. Um, and you can get these from Maplins. What happens is basically when you um, put the, this onto the uh, solder, um, and you pull it like that, it pulls the solder out. Um, it's much easier to, to remove components from PCBs. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, so that's the, um, the LED, the old LED and the old resistor out. And you can see the holes they've come out of. So quite a quick job. Um, something to remember is obviously putting them in around the correct way. And Simon has actually done this and we've, we've shown this on the diagram. But just to quickly go through it, um, the long leg of the LED is the positive and the short leg of the LED is the negative. Um, so you've got the positive and the negative. The resistor can go either way around, so don't worry too much about that. And obviously when it goes onto the card, make sure that you've got these around the right way as well. So looking at the board, all you need to do is make sure that... Um, it corresponds with this so we've got the positive and the negative here and the same here so the black is a negative the green is a positive so making sure we've got it around the right way so um, what, what you need to do really is is lay this on top of the diagram and copy it so quite easy to do really okay so nearly ready for soldering now um, just showing you what it looks like um, quite easy to see so uh, printed circuit boards now finished got the new LED in there and the new resistor and obviously that now needs to be inserted into the back of the unit now what I have noticed um, that uh, Simon's done is he's put a couple of blobs of, of aerodite on these little tags here and in fact this one's broken off which is one of the reasons I actually think this board was actually not even onto the uh, assembly so I'm gonna just aerodite these two areas here before I uh, put it back in so back in the car now just installed the unit the assembly here so it's all back in its place and obviously you just need to put the, uh, the four knobs on so it clips in quite easily um, so moment of truth everything off here we go Fabulous, really lovely and bright. So, uh, fantastic little nod, uh, Simon. Really, really good. Nice and easy to see. You can actually see you've left the, uh, you can actually see you've left it on now, which is which is a good thing. So, I uh, hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, obviously. Um, Thanks for tuning in and uh, I'll see you on the next one and again thanks uh, for Simon Smith for this uh, fabulous little update. See you soon. Cheers. Bye.